All right, guys, I'm back. I take that quick break. Oh, we got a cutscene. You've managed to kill this monster. And now, what's next? You hear a metallic sound coming from one of the coolers. Uh oh. It's Dr. Sullivan, oh. hiding from the world. He recognizes your face. He slowly comes back to his senses. Oh, he has the part of the key. He gives you a key with the image of Cthulhu. You will open the gates of darkness with it. Why the hell would I do that? He directs you to the hills outside the city. Yo, my guy looks creepy. That's where they took everyone. Your cousin is there. They're in great danger. Okay. Suddenly, something attacks Dr. Sullivan. He's dying in convulsions before your eyes. What is the fate of Lewis? We're not gonna help him? You know, put him out of you his misery hurry. or something? Like, he was clearly changing. He just changed, like, Dr. Sullivan. I think Dr. Sullivan was writing those letters at the beginning. I think so. And a lot of different letters and stuff like that I've been reading, so it's kind of hard to keep track of it all. What are you doing, Vaughn? Little puppy dog. All right. Back to the game. A graveyard. And what do you say? He just pointed us towards the hills or something like that? Didn't really say where we're going. I don't think so, at least. I got the memory of a fucking dying flea, so if you can't tell. <laughs> like my brain's the equivalent of like a flies. The fly just dies in about five minutes. <laughs> I remember uh, the movie. There's a movie that has to do with flies and they're like, it doesn't have to do with flies. It's like this little freaking, I don't even remember what it was. Like a Disney movie or something. Like these little characters or something that are talking to these flies in this little scene and the flies are aging it while they're talking in the conversation. Freaking hilarious. Wish I could remember the movie. Pretty sure it's just some kids movie though. Those headshots. I should have ate something on my break. I'm starving now. Come on. What am I stuck on? I am stuck on something. It's gonna have some range. Have any points? I thought I had a point. Hey, what's that guy? What does he do? Nothing. And Lewis. Uh oh. She's dead. Is that her? I go in here. Exploring this. You have the same type of gravestone. Curious. What, what happened to Anne? I want to know. In relation. Dead. Holy shit. Dang. He sniped me with that grenade or something. I can't tell if like this stuff is a secret. This is right there, but all the secrets are just shit like that. Just ammo, helmet, armor, basically. If I can just kind of bait them all out with the graves or whatever they're doing. Oh, they're coming out of the little crypts, mausoleums. Crypt? I think mausoleums are bigger. Oh, 
something in here. Okay, uh, hold on. Okay. I had to check something. Ready, ready. Take a broomstick. Fucking missed. Freeze. How long does it freeze? Curious. That's not very long. That is a very, very useless skill. <laughs> this is not made for this type of game. Especially because it doesn't work on bosses. Grenades out of here. So and Lewis got another one. Well, that one just has a cross. So is that? Where'd it go? Is that Anne then? Uh oh, I don't know. That might have been Anne Lewis right there that we killed. He doesn't even like say anything. He doesn't know. What is like cousin too? One of his one of his cousins? Or something? Where are we finding our cousin Lewis? Are there too many people named Lewis on this game? We will take more stable much faster. I'll take that. The I Tommy gun, right? Oh yeah. Inside. That's it should cool. work much better. Oh nice. I definitely like this. This is awesome. Oh no, that's it again. Our cousin? Is it not two cousins? Am I totally stumped right now? I am. Maybe I'm just confusing myself. I gotta figure out this story. I gotta watch the intro again. level so far. Reminds me a lot of Dusk. Some of the first levels of Dusk are kind of like this. Running around in like these wooded open areas. I'm assuming that's it. Let's go up here. down here forever am I like infected whatever this with this Cthulhu virus love crap virus is turning everyone into zombies you guys are hard to see 
you blend in really well with the environment. Come on. Over here. Nothing. Oh crap, I can't see. I want like a, just a big open world, like a survival game with an art style like this. Like, imagine that. That'd be really cool. It'd be just like this. Except you'd have like some, you know, actual like um, collision with the grass or something. So it's not just obstructing your view as you run through it. And this, that'd be a really cool survival game. I'm just good at making video games. <laughs> I always have these just loads and loads of gaming ideas. Game ideas. That I just can't capitalize on because well, I don't make video games. I made one game in like high school. And it was like um, an arcade type of game. It's actually really fucking fun. But the teacher said it was way too hard. <laughs> because we wanted it that way. With my friend that made it. So he wouldn't uh, put on the exhibition. Or at least that's what he told us. We have, like, we have like this exhibition night where we can show off all of our stuff. Like families and whatnot. But then when the exhibition night came around, we found out that he did add it to the collection of all the other games as just like a separate thing. We just didn't get the points for it though, unfortunately, but still cool. Even making something simple, like just a 16-bit or 8-bit game, you know, side scroll or anything, is really cool. Is that is that Artorius's blade? It is not over yet. I am in the middle of looking that at that. Where's Sif? I don't think I need the music right now. <laughs> it's not that intense game. Calm down. Okay, maybe we stay. That's it? With this whole entire arena and that's it? Did I miss something? Oh, what is this? Some ruins. What is this place? Yeah, I like that map. Just gotta use it. Became useful for once. I mean, I didn't need to use it. But I did. Yeah, I'll use it again. That's right. I know magic. I'm straight out of Hogwarts. I wonder when that game's coming out. The Hogwarts Legacy. Oh, the gnarly flash. I missed both the story thingies. Aw. Oh. Well, there's no barrels. Killed everyone, though. Okay. Thought maybe it was a secret. I just went into from one graveyard into another. Where am I? What is this place? Uh, use it please. Thank you. Really? Really? I can't get like a headshot on it. Like the day is counting down or something? How many kills he has? When the Lord will return, you will rise again. I guess I didn't need to click on that. Read it. How do I get my own fish grenades? That's what I want is fish grenades. And a point, and a point. Whoa, I want where that is to die. What is that? I think it's called a dark bane. Speaking of all these voices. Where 
Jeez, yeah. Vodka. Ew. Is that honey? Adam Litwin. That sounds like a real name. Oh, that's like a developer. Oh, yeah. Speaking of developers, though. I think in like the first episode, when I saw the Fallen Aces reference, I was curious if this game was made by the same people that is uh, that are making uh, Fallen Aces, which is uh, nude, uh, nude, nude Blood, not Nude Blood. <laughs> That's not the name. It's New Blood Interactive, I believe. They made Dust, which is like one of my favorite games on the planet. It is so good. And if y'all haven't played that, like, just shut this shit down and go play it right now. It's amazing. Such a good game. It's like a big reason why I play these games now. Doom isn't really my inspiration for a lot of these games. Playing these games, it's, it's dusk. But um, I'm wondering if like that the the developer, his name's David Szymanski. I might have pronounced his last name wrong, so sorry if I did. But I'm wondering if he's working on it or something, or if it's, this is just like inspired, or maybe the other way around. We're fallen aces is. Inspired by this? With the art style? Yeah. I'm very excited for Fallen Aces. I played the demo and it's it's a lot of fun. It's a lot like this. Just um mob. Like it's a mob theme type of thing. First aid. What are you? It seems like you should be bigger. But, oh! What? That guy is fucked. What the hell is that? This one taps me. I guess I gotta keep an eye on him. I'm pretty sure he gets like uh, creepy sounds every time he pops up. So. Like right now. Back. Shit. 